Imagine if you had Tony Jaa with all the things you can do and you made him like a Sith. Let's keep it a stack. Empire Strikes Back, that's an amazing film, superb film. The fighting is mid. The fighting's trash. <laughs>
do martial arts better than everyone else. Just on a basis. Of course, you have the anomalies like a Ray Park or a Wesley Snipes or like a Michael... Ch Imagine Michael Joy White as a safe. Imagine Michael Joy White as a safe. <laughs> God damn. It's about diversity. It's not about diversity. It's about quality. It's about quality. Um... Yeah, man, and that, and that, and that's, that's, I, I, imagine Michael J. White, as I said, sorry, that just blew my mind. Wow. God. Whew. But, Star Wars, it is what it is, you're just reading yourself, because, is it's, it's, see, it's, it's, diversity for me is not about, oh, no, let's just be all races and so forth, it's about quality. Different races and ethnicities bring a different piece of, of, of quality. The way an Asian will interpret a Jedi, the way a Latino will interpret this, the way a Black Pirate will interpret this, it will be different and visually, emotionally, it's different. So, and that just makes things more creatively and artistically interesting. As long as you hire the right ones. Now, if you hire a brick Asian actor or a brick Black actor, then <laughs> it is what it is. But you hire the right ones and so forth, it improves your product. But how do you have no Asian Jedi or Sith with something based off of freaking samurai culture? Amazing.